Greetings cadets, this is Southpaw. Uh, welcome to this, the first in a series of short video guides aimed to introduce new players to the wonderful world of Allegiance. Um, I'm going to read directly from the wiki here. Allegiance is a free online multiplayer space simulation game. You pilot spacecraft, flying in a team with other players, defending and attacking sectors in space. Your team is led by a commander who makes tactical decisions and invests in technology and bases. Flight and combat is done in the first person view in a 3D environment with a real time top down command view of your immediate surroundings also available. That's a pretty good description. Um, Allegiance uh, is almost one of its kind. Um, and it's for you if you've enjoyed games like TIE Fighter, Free Space, Freelancer, maybe Elite, EVE Online, um, or more recently some direct comparisons can be made to Savage 1 and 2 and Natural Selection 1 and 2. Uh, there's a first person element and uh, an RTS strategy piece overlaid on the top of that. Um, this video is going to show you how to get into a game and just tell you a little bit of background some things that you as a beginner really need to know um, before we do that let's just make a few points about allegiance which are going to become really increasingly apparent uh, as you hit start the first of those is that allegiance is old allegiance is uh, there's a good chance it's older than you and there's a good chance it's old enough to have dated your mom in high school um, allegiance was originally released in the year 2000 developed by Microsoft Game Labs at the time, it was dropped by Microsoft after just one year. So in 2001, Microsoft effectively walked away and left the Allegiance community on their own. The fact that Allegiance survives today now, 16 years later, is real testament to the Allegiance community that's kept it going through some highs and some really low lows. Uh, and it really stands uh, in judgment against the strength of the gameplay. But bear in mind that this is pushing a 20 year old game now, um, so the, the, the graphics uh, are not going to be up to what you might expect from a AAA title, even of five years ago. Um, and there are elements of the gameplay that, that you know might feel a little bit old school, particularly in some of the controls. However, there is a really significant reason why the game is still going, and that's that there's just nothing like it. Um, it is uh, the tagline applied by the community is the best game you've never played. And that's true. I've been gaming since the 1980s, and this is by far and away the finest game that, that I've ever played, certainly in terms of the multiplayer team-based uh, skill and tension uh, that is required to, to succeed. It's, it's really an exceptional game. The second thing to know is that Allegiance is completely free. So you'll have found it on Steam, downloaded it. There are no microtransactions, nothing else. The servers are community maintained, um, the resources are community maintained, updates and development are done by members of the community, um, and it's it's there for you in its entirety to play for free. The third thing you need to know, and the reason why um, I'm going to start making these videos, is that Allegiance is extremely difficult to learn. Uh, at the time of recording this video, there are 10 factions, 5 tech paths, over 40 maps, um, there are random elements within each game setup, so the position of, of tech rocks, the different settings. There's a huge degree of complexity, even before you launch your first ship. Um, and even when you do launch your first ship, there's that ship, there's an enormous skill ceiling in terms of uh, understanding the game, how to fly your ship, where to be, what to do, and when. Um, all of that means that it's going to take you a while to learn it even if you're a hardened gamer even if you've played games like this in the past there's a ton of stuff to learn and you'll be flying in a community of players who have literally decades of experience um, so expect to get owned expect to get schooled for the first couple of months before it starts to click so with all of that said let's jump into the game So when you first boot up the game, you're going to see this splash screen. And hey, what's the first thing to notice here? It's in 4.3. Like I said, it's old. It's pre-widescreen monitors. Um, so before you even go ahead and get into the lobby here, there's a few things you might want to do. Uh, you can hit Escape to bring up the menu. Here you can find the help screen, which we'll talk about a little bit later. But more importantly, you can tweak the graphic settings. Now you can have a look in here for yourselves but you pretty much want everything turned on and everything pushed up to the max 
One of the benefits of this being an old game is that you can run it at max settings on pretty much any modern hardware. In fact, I can run it at max settings on my Chinese grey market tablet that's running Windows 10 um, without breaking a sweat, no problem at all. Um, some options in here, if you're gonna play mouse and keyboard, you're gonna to wanna to leave this setting here switched on. Um, and you can go ahead and adjust your keys and controls down here if, if you feel the need to. Um, but we'll talk about that in another video. So right now, what you're going to want to do is hit Join Games. And then hit the Current Games Listing button in the middle here. Once connected, you'll see a list of games available. Now, pretty much any time, all you're going to see is a, a single lobby. The community is pretty small. Um, part of the effort of doing these videos is to help build it back up again, and part of the Steam release is, is a really strong push in that direction. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create a server, but if you wanted to join the server, you simply highlight the server you're going to join and click the Join Game button, button over here. So here I am in the game lobby. I'm going to give you a quick tour of what you, you can see here. This section here is all the players not on a team. You're going to see this expression quite a lot in Allegiance, also abbreviated to NOAT. Um, this will be uh, the list of all the players currently in the lobby waiting to join the teams. Standard games of Allegiance, two teams, yellow and blue. Uh, to join a team, uh, all you need to do is to click the team you want to join. Hit this join team button over here. You have been designated commander. Now in this instance, as I'm the only person in this server, there are no commanders in place. Um, I've joined straight away and I've automatically been made the commander. Um, when you're joining a regular game, um, the uh, commander of the team that you're joining may have auto accept turned off here so they can control who joins their team so they can try and keep the teams balanced. Um, so don't be surprised if it takes a few seconds for your the commander to accept you onto the team. Um, or if you're trying to join a team that's already got a load of other newbies already on it, the commander might not want to accept you. You might need to join the other team. Uh, but that's part of the course. As I said, this is a game with a lot of vets. So what else can we do in here? Well, one thing that's worth bearing in mind is the chat settings down here. You can filter chat between all players, chat to just your team, chat to just the commanders. Generally, you're going to want to leave that on all players. Before the game launches, you can also take a look in here and see what the game settings are. We'll go through these in another video. But just to show you what they look like, important things to pay attention to in here are the tech paths that have been selected, the money settings, and the map. So in the background image here, you can see the faction that's going to be flown. That's also up here underneath the team name. These two numbers here show the number of players on the team. And this is the sum of the, the ranks of all the players on the team. As a new player, keep an eye on, on these numbers. Um, you should be trying to join the team that has the higher aggregate rank as a new player just to keep the game balanced. So once that's all in place, once the game's ready and the, the players are all on board, the commanders will hit game start and the game will launch. Don't be surprised if uh, it takes a little while to get a game going. Games of Allegiance can take 10, 45 minutes nine, or more. Eight, um, and there's seven, often a fair six, amount of downtime five, after the game four, where the commanders three, and the players want to just one. blow off some steam about what happened. So games can take five to ten minutes to start again. Um, so just chill out, relax, uh, check out the chat, play with your controls. Once you're in game, you're going to be faced with this screen. And in an upcoming video, I'm going to go through what each of these screens do. But to end this video, we're going to launch our Belter Scouts. <laughs> And there we have it. 
that's how you get into a game of Allegiance and get flying and some a little bit of background. So just a few things to finish up on, just to remember before you go into the next video. Allegiance is tough. It's a really difficult game to learn and the skill ceiling is extremely high and a lot of the other players are a lot better at it than you are, but stick with it. It's totally worth the effort. It's a really fantastic game. There's nothing like it in terms of the combination of Twitch skill, um, situational awareness, tactical abilities, and strategic thinking, and just the ability to deploy teamwork. Use the resources you've got available to learn. Uh, that includes the wiki, and I'll put a link to the wiki um, and the forums on Free Allegiance Online in the comments for this, this uh, video. Also, it's totally worth joining the Allegiance Discord channel. There are a load of people on there pretty much 24 seven who will answer any questions you've got about the game, jump into a game to help you out um, and otherwise do whatever they can to, to help you and the community grow. And I can't emphasize enough, check your ego at the door when you're learning to play the game. This is not the kind of game you're gonna pick up and, and master in the first few hours, even if you've played games like this before. That's it for this first video. I hope you've enjoyed it and found it useful and that you'll join me for future videos. Um, this is Southpaw signing out. Hopefully I'll see you in the game.